Do you want to get rid of some stuff that has value? Why not try selling it on Facebook Marketplace? Hi, my name is Kelly Vandiver. I'm a real estate agent in Alpharetta, Georgia with Keller Williams, North Atlanta. My friend Mary was going from living in a big house to an adorable cottage in a senior living community. Problem was, she had a lot of furniture that wouldn't fit into her new home. I suggested she sell it on Facebook Marketplace, and she told me she wasn't on Facebook. Now, it's not because she's not technically savvy. She is, but she just chooses not to be on Facebook. So I said, okay, I'll help you with that, even though I'd never sold anything on Facebook Marketplace. It turns out it's super easy. That's what we're going to talk about today. Let me show you how we do that here on my iPhone. I'll press my Facebook app. Down on the bottom right, I press those three lines and look for Marketplace. Click on that. Click on Sell, because that's what we're going to do. It gives you different options. We're selling an item. I had previously taken pictures on my cell phone of the item that I might want to sell. We'll see if anybody wants to buy it. You can upload up to 10 photos. I have this old couch in my house that I wouldn't mind getting rid of. So I've got the photos. I just select them. And they upload into it. Add a title. Add a price point. And I could choose from a lot of different categories, but if you notice down below, it sees what I typed. So I'm going to go ahead and select sofa and love seats. And condition, I'll change that to used. It's only in fair condition. In fact, some of the pictures I took are places where the leather is flaking off. So I don't know if anybody's really going to want this thing. You can add the brand if that's important to you. It already put in the leather. It put the decor as modern. How does it know that? I'm not sure. It's a little scary. <laughs> but it put brown as the color, so I <laughs> think we'll change that. Did I misspell gray? Let me go back and make that change. Okay. And there's my location. That's my zip code. If I were helping a client or if you're helping a family member, you can always change that zip code. And I'm going to type in a description. When we were selling Mary's items, we had several different things. And so we were going to have everybody come over at one time to purchase them. And I found one quick hack to make that easier to type in each time. I actually went over to my notes, typed in what I was going to repeat every listing. Did a quick copy, head back over to Facebook, and did a paste, and that way I didn't have to retype it for each entry. With the product tags, it gives you options, or you can just click in and type anything that might be missing. And hit return, and that gets a new keyword. You have the, auto, the option to list as a single item or in stock. Since we're talking about just a personal item, we'll list it as a single item. And then hit next at the top. You have options to post it into different groups, etc. I'm just going to put it in Marketplace and publish. And there it is. There's my listing. In a minute, I'll talk about what happens when you start getting notifications. But before I do that, before I forget, um, there is a link to a document to give you some more tips on listing things on Facebook Marketplace. So after you post something, you'll start getting notifications through Facebook Messenger. This is an example of what you'll see. The first thing you'll probably see is this, is this available? That's one of the automatic replies that Facebook gives you. And then you can start having a conversation with somebody about selling it. Like I said, selling things on Facebook is easy peasy. So if you're trying to downsize, get rid of a few things around the house before you make that move, try Facebook Marketplace. And don't forget to follow the link so you can get some more tips on selling things on Facebook Marketplace.